yesterday was our second day running around doing different uh, touring things in Missouri here. We went to Route 66 Tacos and Wings. Um, you talk about a great experience. So through this whole weekend, we're dedicating our race in Bolivar this weekend to uh, a prisoner of war named Walter Dixon. Walter Dixon had an incredible story. Um, he was a man that uh, was a soldier and was considered killed in action after they found a jacket and some of his belongings. He had uh, seen, he had been involved in a firefight. An individual was badly wounded. So he took his, he took his uh, jacket off and he used it as a tourniquet uh, to be able to stop the bleeding. Um, and at that time, something, you know, an artillery round or something had come in and killed uh, two or three individuals, leaving them you know, to where they couldn't be recognized. So when they seen his jacket, they assumed it was him. And that's how this whole thing started. But in reality, he was taken as a prisoner of war during this campaign. For over two years, he was gone and his wife had remarried and life had gone on without him. Uh, but this amazing man continued to serve. Uh, he was a drill sergeant instructor at Fort Leonard Wood and did a, a lot of great things. His son, Russ, was there last night, so we were able to present him with a POW MIA flag and a, a really cool Flame Everlasting trophy that we gave him uh, for the legacy of his father. What we really want to be able to highlight is, you know, what the mission of the POW MIA car is, and that's to raise awareness of POWs and MIAs. And for, for their own part, the Dixon family is, is doing that every single day also. So they made these scrapbooks that had news clippings, it had uh, articles, it had awards, it had his POW license plate. So they made these scrapbooks to be able to tell the story that they can share with you know kids in school, they can share with uh, community leaders, with community members, um, to make sure that his legacy continues to live on uh, because that's how important it is that we, that we continue to tell that story. Because uh, it's not every day you get to meet a, a, the family of a, of a POW or an MIA uh, that has such a compelling story to tell. Um, so it was really neat just to be able to do that. John, the guy at Route 66 Tacos, did a great job and let us do our dedication right there at his restaurant uh, in front of a lot of people. So we just thank everybody that came out to that event and uh, can't wait for the rest of our trip.